Everybody says don't. Everybody says don't. Everybody says don't. It isn't right. Don't. It isn't nice. Leia Salonga says, has a special ability to just reach out and captivate an audience, and we've seen that around the world, whether it's on Broadway or the silver screen. I sang for two Disney princesses, namely Princess Jasmine for the movie Aladdin and as Famulan in the movie Mulan. Sometimes you have to start small, climbing the time. Leia really captured the world's attention when she originated the title role of Kim in Miss Saigon. She then went on to play both Fantine and Eponine in Les Miserables on Broadway. When I was cast as Eponine on Broadway, On My Own became more than just a song. It became, for me, something very personal, pretty much just changed my life. If you do that, America, nothing to them, I say don't, don't be afraid. Is there anything that I'm known for? As far as adults, they'll know me from the 10th and the 25th anniversary of Les Miserables, having played Eponine in the 10th and Fantine in the 25th. In the world of theater, Miss Saigon, where she played the title role. Little kids will probably know my voice more than they will anything else because I sang for two Disney princesses, namely Princess Jasmine for the movie Aladdin and as Fa Mulan for the movie Mulan. I have a five-year-old daughter and she's kind of hilarious because mommy is not even her favorite Disney princess. Getting a Tony, what was it like getting a Tony? I remember being really excited about being nominated. My performance in Miss Saigon had up until the Tonys had gotten all the other um, best lead actress in a musical awards. It got the Outer Critics Circle, Drama Desk. But that said, Tony night came, there was always that thing in the back of my mind and I'm thinking, it's not gonna happen. I'm not, I don't know that I'm gonna get it. I heard my name and my brother and I just totally jumped up out of our seats. It was something that had never happened, I think, to anybody from the Philippines. I've had all sorts of wonderful experiences and life is good. I really can't ask for anything more. But my mind goes back to that very first audition and it makes me wonder if I hadn't sung that song, where would my life today be? You know, when I think about, you know, what was the, that pivotal moment in your life where everything just became really clear? I guess that was one of the big days. I lived a very middle-class existence in the Philippines. I liked singing from when I was really young, but never really with the thought of it being a lifelong career. I went to a really good school growing up, and when I was 17, I was enrolled in university. Um, I was a pre-med student, and um, thought that that would pretty much comprise my life, and I, I thought that I had everything planned out, and that turned out not to be the case when I auditioned for Miss Saigon. We have been all around the world to find Leia. We did London, New York, San Francisco, LA, Hawaii, and we finished in the Philippines to find the one who fits perfectly with the part. We knew all along when we were writing the show that we may never find that rare bird because we were asking, you know, too many things at once. And, uh, and she had to be Asian, you know, on top of everything. Okay, there are these auditions for this new West End show, Miss Saigon, and what should I sing? Oh, it's gonna be written by the same guys that wrote Les Mis, so you should sing a Les Mis song. On My Own from Les Mis probably would be the, the one song that pretty much just changed my life for, you know, for the rest of it and for the better. That was a song that I decided to sing 
uh, for my audition for Miss Saigon. It was the song that when I first heard it, I just burst into tears. I mean, I could have picked any song. I picked that song um, because I felt that it would represent my voice as closely as possible, resembling what they were looking for. Um, so it was an audition tactic. I mean, I chose the song, and in choosing that, it just kind of started a ball that's just been rolling for the last 20 or so years. It kind of cemented that this was what I was meant to do. You know, and, and that song will just never really, really get old for me. It's, it's pretty gosh darn beautiful. When you meet somebody for the first time, it's all happening in the first 30 seconds. And when they are walking to the room and she opened her mouth and she started to sing on my own in 37, we knew that we have something there that we never find before. At my audition for Miss Saigon, the only song that I had prepared was on my own. Um, but they asked me to sing another song. The, the first title that came to my mind was I, 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 I Can Sing The Greatest Love Of All by Whitney Houston. And then here's Claude Michel going, yes, darling, but uh, you, don't, you sing it like you. You sing it your way. Don't sing it like her. I'm like, OK. <laughs> and so I'm like, under my breath, I'm just praying. It's like, dear God, please let this pianist know the song. Let him know what the song is. And as I was about to ask the pianist if he knew the piece, I noticed that there was some sheet music on top of the upright. And out of curiosity, I grabbed it, and I looked at it, and it's like the greatest love of all. So I gave it to the, p the pianist. Here, play this. And then I go back to the X, praying, please let it be in my key. Please let it be in my key. And once he started playing the intro, I knew, OK, this, this song is definitely in my key. So it, by, by some miracle, somebody had left behind sheet music for the greatest love of all, and it happened to be in my key. So I guess for the same reasons that on my own, you know, changed my life. That one in a huge way really, really did. With The Greatest Love of All, we had not looked at that song prior to getting together in the studio. And so when we first ran it down, it probably was as close to the collective memories of the versions that have preceded it. And I think it's always our desire and our interest to try to move beyond that and not be as predictable or as sort of replicating what had been done. It doesn't have to be so big and bombastic at that point, you know? Yeah, to start it there and, you know, and just see how it grows out. All right, so she, should we give it a shot? Yeah, yeah let's give it a go. Let's do it. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be i decided long ago never to walk in Well, the, the one real thing that I can say that I've created, I mean, obviously with my husband, is my daughter. And that's something that no one else can claim. You don't learn love until, you have a, until you've had a child. And it just blows everything else out of the water. I mean, a love for a child, for your child, trumps it all. I think a part of it is that you see a reflection of yourself in, in that little human being. And it's the realization that, you know, you've, you're, you've passed something else on and if by chance that special place that you've been dreaming of leads you to lonely i have a great home life
wife, wonderful husband, a great daughter. So I guess what it is that makes me sing is just having a joyful heart and being happy. In in a concert setting. I always get a little um, nervous because I think I, I know just full well from experience the stuff that can go wrong. An instrument string can break, lights can fall, I could trip, but I also put in my mind then that the only thing I can really control is myself. The best part about Leia is her consistency, how she can just deliver 100% every time. All you have to do is do your part right and then it's gonna come out terrific. Her phrasing, her intonation, her consistency and everything, it's, it's just great every time. Like a ship blown off its mooring by a wind off the sea Like a sea dropped by a skybird in a distant port Who can say if I've been changed for the better But because I knew you when I'm doing musical theater songs. I give a lot of importance to the words, and I try to figure out, okay, what does that mean? What is the, what is the context? And once I'm able to get at least a bigger picture of what the song is about, then I can kind of break it down as to, okay, what vocal inflection do I use on this word? Or, or what do I think about when this line comes along? Or who do I think about? It's basically looking at each line and associating either a thought or a memory, something concrete that I can hold on to so that when I do sing it, there's, I'm able to tell some sort of story. Like a sea drop by a bird in the wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? In a concert setting, I kind of have to take everything out of context and put on a performance that's right for it as a concert um, because a theatrical musical theater performance, you know, it tends to be way too theatrical for a concert. So I try to, you know, dial things down a little bit um, in my head as far as the emotional intensity. It's a little bit different because the showcase really is more me as a person and my voice and what I can do with it. I have been changed. There's always a struggle, there's always a wall, there's always something. And for me, it was that one day when my agent sent me to an audition for a musical, and then 10 minutes later called right back and said, oh, they're not gonna see you because you're Asian. I, I did end up sort of kind of getting revenge. Guys, how do you, how do you feel in here? It's kind of replicating the experience of doing it live with all of us in the room, mm -hmm. but it doesn't sound cavernous. It, it's, it's, right. it's, it, I can hear everything. We've only experienced the live thing, which is so gigantic all yeah. the time. It's especially wonderful to, to have an intimate moment in a studio because it feels like it really, it welcomes it in. So let's keep the progress going. Let's, let's go for it. This is just the great part about both of these songs. It's just how they're very subdued. They're very subtle. Some of the best things happen in the most quiet of ways. I mean, I met Rob that way. We didn't have the big old fireworks, and when we met each other, we knew, we knew. And it was quiet, and it was subtle, and it was not accompanied by a parade. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to arise. Black
blackbirds singing in the dead of night. I like singing songs where it reflects what's going on in my life. I mean, if, if you really put a lot of power and emotion and soul behind something, it moves you. You're only waiting for this moment to When it all comes true, just the way you planned. It's funny, but the bells don't ring. It's a quiet thing. Blackbird everybody's really familiar with. I mean, it's it's pretty ubiquitous. And then whose idea was it to pair it up with a quiet thing? It, it was me. I was, it's the content of you were only waiting for this moment to arrive that made me think does, of yeah. this song, a quiet thing, that when it comes true, then it's it's a quiet thing the way this amazing event comes true. There are no exploding fireworks. The roaring of the crowd. Maybe it's the strange new atmosphere way up here among the clouds. And I don't hear the drums, and I don't hear the band. It's kind of like in searching for that special someone or the one it, it will not always happen with you know anything bombastic like fireworks and a brass band or anything sometimes it creeps in really quietly and in the way that I met my husband it didn't happen with the brass band it happened really quietly so it's it's what I think about when I actually get to sing this The breadth of material we do with Leia is huge. She'll do a soft, sensitive ballad and make the audience weep, and then rocks as hard as anybody. I want to hold them like they do in Texas, please. Hold them, let them hit me, raise it, baby, stay with me. Love game, intuition, play the cards with space to start. And after he's been hooked, I'll play the one that's on his heart. Oh, uh, uh. We can be doing sound check, and it sounds great. But then when she comes down to sing, it just bumps it up a notch. She's such a great musician. Her pitch is incredible, her musicality. You know, it's really inspiring. Shut up. On My Own triggered something from which I could never turn back. I've sung it at that very fateful audition for Miss Saigon. It led to Broadway, and then that led to Les Mis on Broadway, and it's it's led to, you know, Princess Jasmine. It's led to all, all sorts of wonderful experiences, and, you know, they're all still leading to something really, really cool and wonderful, to, you know, in, in my life. On My Own as a personal piece, it signaled a change from hobby to full on out career. The sacrifice of, of leaving for London would mean leaving school, leaving my family, um, leaving my friends and, and going into an existence that I was turning into an adult pretty much overnight. And it's being, I guess, thrust into a, a world of responsibility that my sheltered existence in the Philippines couldn't quite, did not quite prepare me for. But it signified also something else. Um, 
you know, because previous to being cast as Eponine, I was called into audition for another musical on Broadway. This is after I already won the Tony. Um, my agent calls me back 10 minutes later and says, oh, they don't want to see you, you're Asian. I was just a little taken aback by, by the remark. And so when I was cast as Eponine on Broadway, On My Own became more than just a song. It became, for me, something very personal to prove as an Asian woman, I can play whatever part I want to play and do it well and have people in the audience forget where I'm from, who I am, my background, and just take me purely on merit and on what I can do. On my own, pretending he's beside me, all alone, I walk with him till morning. Without him, I feel his arms around me. And when I lose my way, I close my eyes, and he has found me. In the rain, the pavement shines like silver. All the lights are misty in the river. In the darkness, the trees are full of starlight. And all I see is him and me forever and forever. And I know it's only in my mind that I'm talking to myself and not to him. And although I know that he is blind, still I say there's a way for us. I love him. But when the night is over, he is gone. The river's just a river. Without him, the world around me changes. The trees are bare and everywhere the streets are full of strangers. I love him. Everybody says don't, everybody says don't walk on the grass, don't disturb the peace, don't skate on the ice. Insist on me. 